All right, guys. Uh, welcome back to Pooh and PC. Um, I want to talk to y'all a little bit something about that uh, I've been dealing with right now. Um, for years, uh, Chrome browser has been my go-to browser. There's been nothing else. Um, there was Firefox. There was Internet Explorer. Who would use that? Um, but now there's something new. There's something that has that has my heart, and it and it was birthed of Internet Explorer. It comes from Microsoft. Microsoft Edge is what I'm talking about, the browser that comes with Windows 10. Now, I know all of you are saying out there like, oh my God, I can't, I can't even hear what he's saying to me right now. But, but hear me out real quick. Chrome has gotten old and crickety and, and it, it, it launches all these different things. It uses up all your memory. I've seen articles about how it runs out your battery on your laptop. Um, but that's not so much my issue. I mean, even if it does run down your battery, that's a minuscule at best uh, issue. I mean, my laptop gets six hours to seven hours of battery no matter what I do. But usability is what I'm more focused on. Um, and when I say usability, usability, what I'm talking about is that Chrome, if you now it, it, now you guys can all check this out and um in your computer at home. But if you go into Chrome, if you go into control all delete and you look at your, your open um, applications, Chrome is going to have six, seven different things open, depending on how many extensions and all those different things. Um, and it's annoying because every time you turn off the computer, it says, Oh, Google's still open. And that shit was bugging me. And I was like, what the fuck is that? So I go in to, my task manager and I realized, ah, there's different extensions or different things still open or, or, or Google Play Music or whatever it is still open. And it's giving me a message when I restart or turn off my computer every night. And it was getting on my fucking nerves. So I start playing around with uh, with Edge browser recently. And I'm like, yo, wait a second. This shit is pretty smooth. Like, I don't have the problems of shit not loading uh, uh, the flash player going bad and having to reload shit every fucking time. I watch a lot of anime. Um, and you know, you guys know those sites have nothing but like porno ads and like all this different stuff. And I'm like, dude, can I just watch my fucking, uh, Pokemon XY or what, you know, I don't actually watch Pokemon XY, but you know what I'm saying? One piece. Can I, can I, can I watch my one piece without having to get an ad for Madison, whoever, um, wow, butt sex. Like I'm not, I'm not for that. No, I do watch porno, but you know what I'm trying to say? I was watching the anime. So I started using, I started using edge browser cause I wasn't getting all those flash player drop offs. Um, but then I'm messing around with the settings, trying to set up my bookmarks from Chrome browser. So I have everything that I usually look at, you know, pulled right over. And then I realized that, that they got extensions. There are extensions in Edge browser the way they are in Chrome browser. And the main extension that I needed to get first thing was ABP. Was, you know, to block to block all of the ads um, that you get. And that's like, the you know, everybody, that's the first thing you download when you get Chrome browser. Um, or it should be. If you don't, it should be. But anyway. Um, but... I started downloading extensions and I'm sure they just started doing it because there's not that many in the, in the web store, in the Microsoft web store, whatever it's called. But there's just enough for me to say it officially today. I'm making the switch to Edge browser. Now, am I going to delete Chrome off my computer? No, I always got to have Chrome just in case. But what I'm telling you is that for most things, Edge is a okay. Now, I'm going to give you another scenario where where Edge is great. When I'm signing in now, OK, so my parents have um, and I know a lot of you out there do this. Don't don't try and make me feel like I'm the only one. But my parents have direct TV at the crib at the big house, as I call it, um, you know, and they got lots of money. I'm a young, you know, up and coming. Um, I ain't got I ain't got two hundred dollars a month to pay for direct TV, but. They have Showtime and HBO and Stars and all. You know, they like to they walk, they like their stations. So they have all those things. So now I I am able to access those stations on their on uh, internet sites so that I can watch those things. 
If you're not doing that, that's the hustle. If you're a millennial, if you're a 30-something, 20-something, whatever, you need to be signing on to your parents' your parents' joints and using that $150 they paying for Fios or for Xfinity, whatever it is you got at home, and be signing on at your house, your apartment, whatever it is, and using that up because you can do that. But either way, in Chrome, you know, sometimes an ad will come up, like especially in like Hulu, like an ad will come up and and Chrome starts acting funny. It's like Chrome is like, I'm not gonna play that shit at all. In Edge browser, I don't have those issues. I, I you know, I noticed it when I was watching Stars. I love power. Um, I think that's a great fucking show. And stars would not load on Chrome, but it would load on Edge. And that's where I officially had to give it to Edge. It's very smooth, it's very light. When you go into your task manager, you see one app in there. For edge and that's it and it's a beautiful thing. um i just wanted to get that off my chest you know what i'm saying i'm gonna I'm a grind my gear kind of guy you know what i'm saying stuff frustrates me and i gotta get it off my chest so i wanted to share that with y'all thank you for coming we'll check you next time on pulling pc we're out of here